Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mighty Benaya here, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Nerf Surf and Turf game, um, just about placement. I've seen a little bit of conflict, and I wanted to try to prevent conflict in a week when we all start jumping into nations. We all want to have a fun time with each other. We don't want anybody to feel slighted. So I just have a couple of recommendations um, just to think about. Nobody has to follow these exactly, but I was looking at the map and, whoops, I am going to be drawing, but not yet. Uh, there are several groupings of three nations that I think will be beneficial for us to keep in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group up nations into three so that we can all look at them and see kind of what goes together. That way we aren't leaving one person out in the cold because they were the last person to join. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to uh, the North America side because these are easy to split up. Um, obviously you have um, the Southern, really the United States. They are three and they go together pretty well. Where it becomes difficult is the northern United States because Greenland could go over here with Great Britain. But because there are only two nations in North America that are not already assumed to be part of a coalition, these three should probably be grouped. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. If Greenland were to join, um, let's say, Great Britain, then who's going to take Canada? Are they going to be joined with somebody way over here in Russia? It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, so what I've done, what I'm doing is I'm going through the borders first and then working my way in. So it would make sense that these three African nations would be together, which means it makes sense that these three African nations work together. Um, I'm thinking that it's likely going to be good for... Uh, Arabia, the Ottomans, and the Caucasus to work together, but this is where it gets a little bit less definitive um, because you could move around and say, okay, well, maybe the Caucasus should work with Russia and Greece should work with Turkey, stuff like that. Um, but just keep in mind, and really this is an exercise for all of us to just be mindful because we want everybody to be able to play and feel like they had a shot. Um, so Personally, I would group Russia's and Finland together. Um, I don't know that that's resource-wise the best option, but that's just mentally as I'm grouping stuff up how I would do it. Um, I would probably put these three together. And I would probably put these three together. Um, and that would leave um, Italy, France, and Spain and Germany, England, and one other. Who am I missing? Oh, oh, and Sweden. Uh, so that one's a little bit rougher, the, the Germany, uh, England, and Sweden. But remember that Sweden, even though it looks like they have this giant border, oops, it looks like they have this giant border with Norway, Bankerton's going to be Norway, and he is neutral. So they really only have this one border to worry about, which that honestly might be a good one to be. Um, have your air force up here in Sweden and have your army in Germany and your navy in England. It'd be a little bit rough because you don't border each other exactly, but it might be a good way to think about starting. So those are just my thoughts real briefly. Obviously, there's a little bit of malleability, but as you are thinking about which nations you want to play as in the Nerf Surf and Turf, keep in mind that there are other players that need to play. Greenland is the big one that's obvious. Oh, okay, Greenland really needs to go with a North American coalition because there's five <clears throat> North American nations and they need a sixth. But when you start talking about the Mediterranean and when you start looking in Europe, we want to be careful not to isolate anyone because they were the last to join. That's all that I had to say. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. Um, and I am excited to go on this Nerf Surf and Turf adventure with all of you. Silly Deo Gloria, until next time.